I'm Felicia Carbajal. I'm the executive director of the Social Impact Center. I sit on the board of Cage Free Cannabis and I'm also an advisor for Equity First Alliance. I think I knew I was different and queer when I was five. Like I often tell people the first time I saw Linda Carter like spin around, it was just over. Like I didn't know if I wanted to be her, but I knew, well, it was a mix of everything. I wanted to be her. I love, I mean, she was just so beautiful. I want like everything was just in that moment, but I didn't, you know, I'm a kid. There was no, uh, sex wasn't a component. This was just a beautiful person that I was very attracted to and drawn to. Um, but when I, when I came out, I remember just feeling like sh shame, like, you know, like I shouldn't have said that out loud because of the look that my mom, that par I mean, she, it paralyzed me where, you know, like the way that she grabbed me and you're just like, I'm not supposed to be that. And you're not supposed to say that. I remember when I had to reaffirm that with my mom when I was 18 to say, mom, I'm still gay. And, you know, she got really defensive and she's like, well, I could have been gay, like I was abused. And I was like, mom, I've never been abused. Like nothing happened to me. And why would you make that associate? Like, I mean, even at 18, I was like, why would you make that kind of association? Like, if anything, like I grew up with your niece who's a lesbian and her girlfriend who are our babysitters. Like you raised me to be accepting of all people and like, Recognizing that like as indigenous people, it's a plant, right? We make these associations that plants are given to us by the earth and they're here to feed us, to clothe us, to protect us. So if, I don't know, for me personally, it was just like, oh my gosh, our people cannot be left out of this portion of the conversation, especially because we've been so criminalized by it. And they made a word to demonize us. They call this plant marijuana in particular to demonize us as a people. So it's like, yeah, like, how, you know, how do we as the Latinx community say, you know what, fine. Like, I'll tell people, they're all like, Felicia, why do you say marijuana? And I was all like, sometimes that's the only thing our people recognize and understand, you know? Like, if I call it cannabis, I'll have a bunch of people looking at me. I'm like, okay, okay, marijuana, and then, oh, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, you know? So, like, for me, it was just a natural bridge because it's been a part of my existence in one way, shape or form my entire life. Like seeing my dad consume it with his cousins after his cousins, you know, they were musicians, so they'd have a jam session and watch them unwind at the end of the night. So I think I'd say the same stuff that I grew up hearing, like my mom would tell me, I grew up a very conservative Christian home, but my mom would tell me, hey, before you were born, before you were formed in my womb, you were set apart. So she'd tell me this, she'd tell me Jeremiah 29, I think it's like 29.1 or 29.3, it's like, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I sanctified you. I set you apart. So I think I would just, Tell 18 me, year old me, you're gonna make it. And it's okay if you want to die sometimes. I mean, 18 year old me, actually, I'm, I always tell people, I'm surprised I'm here. They'll look at me and they're like, what do you mean? I was like, I deliberately would do things that would put me in compromising positions because I didn't think that I deserved to be to exist. Yeah, well, I, I was came from so much love, but then I also came from so much condemnation. So it's just like, okay, you're a good person. Like, oh, that good person doesn't really matter because you're queer. And then when it be, when I really accepted me, I was 19. And it was just that year, it was like nine months from being away from home. And I had just made it to being 18. And 19 year old me, I would tell me, okay, look, uh, calm down a little bit. Like, you're gonna make it, but you gotta calm, calm that, cut that shit out. <laughs>